Hi, Rich Spizzano here from Digitally Feelers. A while back I did a steampunk video creating this piece and I really like this piece but you know sometimes I do my videos very quickly and on the fly and I do make mistakes. Uh, I try not to hide all my mistakes because I want people to show the thinking that goes into it and uh, what, what I'm thinking as I'm designing these things. So one of my subscribers said they really like this except for the wings and they feel like the wings ruined it and I wrote them back and said what do you mean the wings ruin it and sure enough he explained that the wings are facing the wrong way and it's been bugging me and sometimes like I said I, I do these quickly and you don't realize that you really should step back and look at it a day or two later and then finish it but I do my tutorials very quickly but this one has been really bugging me because I do like this piece and the wings are wrong and that person was absolutely correct so I am just going to fix these wings just so I can feel better about it uh, because I do like this piece like I said so let's get started <laughs> So this is a really simple fix, and I'm sure there are other things that may be wrong with this, but in this particular case, the wings are bugging me so much. So all I have to do now is go find the wings. So I'm just finding, there's the first wing. I can do control or command and click, even though it's in a group, and it selects it. And I'll do arrange and flip horizontally, and I'm going to move it up this way. And I really don't want it to hide here, so I will shrink it just a touch, just like that. And then I have to select the other wing, and I don't see where it is. It's hard to select. You know what I'll do? I'll take that wing. Where is it? And look for the wing. The other, here's the other wing underneath, and I'm going to arrange and flip horizontally also. And I'm just going to hit my arrow keys to get it out of the way and move it this way. And let's see how that looks standing back. So now maybe just this way. And I think this one maybe needs to be a little bit forward like that. And this one maybe still a little bit back. And maybe even on a less of an angle like that. So I think that's okay. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure one of you might comment about other things that might be wrong. I'm gonna lower I'm gonna actually shrink this a little bit more. I kind of think it's more natural and maybe lower that and then lower that one a little bit. And I feel better about that. So let's do that a little bit more like that. And I think that's pretty good. So I appreciate your comments and I try to answer as many as I can. And like I said, I do things on the fly because as I'm doing them, I want you to hear my thinking of what I do and my mistakes and all. But this one was so really bugging me because I really do like this piece. And I'm sure there's more I can do with it because this piece was only created in honestly like 30 minutes. And you really should take a couple of days to create something like this. But in this case, I like this very much. Actually, I'm going to do one more thing because I just thought of something. If I have this wing, I'm going to create under the wing layer. I'm going to add another pixel layer right here. And I'm going to call it wing shadow. And let's do that since we're doing this already. And I'm going to paint with black. And I'm going to use a very soft brush with very little flow here. And I'm just going to kind of paint a little bit of where that wing shadow might be, like that. And then I will give it, I'll do effects and I'll give it a Gaussian blur. And let's see, let's fade that a little bit. And I kind of like that. So, okay, so this is now my final product and I'm much happier with it. Again, I'm being very clear that this was done in 30 minutes. I could add shadows everywhere. I can just enhance everything. But for the sake of the tutorials, they would take too long. So I just want to do I just want to do enough to show you the techniques. It's up to you to create this or, or anything else of your own and really work on it. Like if I worked on this for a day or two, this could be perfect but I just wanted to do it for the tutorial. So thanks again, and I hope you like my tutorials. And if you do, please click like and subscribe and have a good day.